Hello, welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Cyclone Puzzle, which means I'm going to show you the, the four or five moves that you need to disassemble all four of those Cyclone Puzzle pieces, and then how you can do the opposite to put it back into its original position. Now the Cyclone Puzzle is a level 5 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale, and a level 9 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And without further ado, let's get on with the solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled cyclone puzzle. First of all, before we get into the moves, we need to identify certain pieces. So there are two types of pieces. There's two of each piece, which we'll go through now. So you've got uh, two cyclone pieces, one of which is the gold bit and one of which is another silver piece. And the cyclone, well, all pieces have engravings on them. The cyclone engraving, the only difference with the cyclone pieces is this extra slant in the gap. And that enables us to, to do the first moves. Uh, on the other cyclone piece is exactly the same, same cyclone engraving, just on one side, the engravings. We'll be using those as reference points throughout. And again, that, that extra slant in here. The other two pieces, Hanayama, they've got sort of a, a more equal cross. The difference with the Hanayama pieces is that on the inside here, you should be able to see there's a little cutout. And on the opposite side, this is harder to see, but you'll see that inside tract is a little bit thinner at this top bit than it is throughout the rest of the um, of the piece. So those, those Hanayama pieces, they give us the space that we need to do the moves that we need to do with the cyclone pieces. So once we've sort of identified, right, we know what pieces we're looking at, we're now gonna take a hold of the two cyclone pieces, the gold piece and the, the silver piece. So we're gonna have the gold piece on the left, the, the silver cyclone piece on the right. And what we're gonna do is our aim is gonna be to get these two gaps opposite each other to then get them into a position here where we can separate them from there. But that's much easier said than done. First thing we need to do before we even think about doing that is get the two Hanayama pieces in the right orientation. So at the minute, as we're looking down on the, well, on the puzzle, we first of all need to orientate the cyclone pieces in the right way. And what we want is we want the cyclone engraving on the gold piece to be facing us. So we're gonna be in this position, cyclone engraving is gonna be in this orientation for the pretty much the whole time. Once we've got that, we're now gonna orientate the two Hanayama pieces, and we actually want this position that we're in now. The gaps on the Hanayama pieces need to be opposite each other, and they also need to be, there's one piece that'll be on the left and slightly above, we need that gap to be on top, and there's one bit that is the opposite, slightly on the left and slightly below, we will need that gap to be on the bottom. Once we've got that position, we're gonna get the middle of the gap on the cyclone piece, the gold cyclone piece, into the middle, in here. And now, the tough part is to get this bit opposite, this silver cyclone piece opposite the gold cyclone piece. For the Hanayama pieces, we're gonna slightly orientate those at about 45 degrees, going sort of at a, a half past 10, or a, a, a northwest perspective and a southeast. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now this isn't gonna happen first time, it's not gonna happen second time. This is gonna take a lot of struggle, a lot of hassle to get this through there because we're using those extra little grooves on the Hanayama pieces to fit this piece through this gap and opposite the gold cyclone piece in there. And I've done that quite easily, but I, I promise it's not as easy as it just looked. That's taken a, a good few weeks of practice to get to this position here. So, but once you do, pull it a little bit tight. It doesn't have to be too tight. Once we get to this position, we're not really going anywhere. But before we do the next move to actually uncross these, because we can't do it from this position without an incredible amount of force, we're actually just gonna swap the two Hanayama pieces over. So the, pit, the bit that did have the gap at the bottom, we're gonna turn that so that it's at the top. And the bit that was at the top, we're gonna turn that so that it's at the bottom. So the bit on the left, the gap is at the top. The piece on the right, the gap is on the bottom. And what that does is give the space for this top groove on this Hanayama piece to fit in the gap of the opposite piece and then exactly the same position on the opposite side. This gap fits in there and that gives us the extra space when we're in exactly the right position to turn this corner. There's a slight little click as you're taking it apart but it shouldn't take a, a ridiculous amount of force or really any force whatsoever. 
But once we've done that, we're then going to take the silver cyclone gap out of the middle because we need the space because we're now going to separate the gold piece from the two Hanayama pieces. And what we're going to do for that is we're just going to turn this piece at the bottom opposite to the gold cyclone piece, which again is quite tight because this other cyclone piece gets in the way. So you're going to have to play around with the position of that or to get that. Eventually, you'll get it opposite each other. And again, this is another one of those quite frustrating moves, but not quite as frustrating as that first move. But you'll get to this position here, and then all we do is separate. And again, we just need to turn the corner at the bottom when the, when the other two pieces are out of the way and in the right position. We can then turn that corner and end up in here. That happened quite fast, but hopefully you, you get the idea. And then to separate the gold piece, the gold cyclone, all we need to do is orient ourselves with the, the last Hanayama piece. And that is how we separate the gold cyclone piece. We're then going to switch our focus to the silver cyclone piece, which is in here. We're going to hold it on the left. And all we need to do now is figure out right which of these is going to separate first, because this one's on the inside. We know it's going to be this piece in here. And this is much now much easier to do. We then separate from in there. And then all we do to finish that off is separate in there. And now the really easy bits, we just get the two Hanayama pieces opposite each other. And that is how we disassemble the Cyclone puzzle. And for reassembling the Cyclone puzzle, the, the main concern that we have to start with is the orientation in which we reassemble these. We're starting off with the two Hanayama pieces, but obviously there's two way around to do it. We can go this way around or this way around. For us, for the orientation, we're going to use the engravings on every one of the four pieces to orient ourselves correctly. So the two Hanayama pieces we've got to start with, we're going to hold the one in the left in a vertical position. The Hanayama engraving is going to be facing us. The one that we're holding in a horizontal position, the engraving is going to be facing up towards us. And then we're going to turn that around and job done with that one. We're then going to take the, the silver cyclone piece. We're going to hold that in a similar orientation. So we're going to hold that in a vertical position with the cyclone engraving facing towards us. However, the, the two Hanayama pieces, the engraving is going to be facing down as we're holding it in a horizontal position. And again, this one, these two moves are nice and simple. We do the same thing for the second Hanayama piece. So the cyclone engraving is facing us. The Hanayama engraving is facing down. We connect those in there and we can just leave those like that. For the gold cyclone piece, we're going to take it in exactly the same position as we've held all the left hand side pieces so far. We're going to hold it slightly horizontal, uh, slightly vertical, sorry. And the cyclone engraving is going to be facing towards us. However, on the Hanayama pieces, this time they're going to be horizontal again, but the engraving is going to be facing us, whereas the opposite was the case on the uh, on the previous connecting the previous cyclone piece. So cyclone engraving facing us, Hanayama engraving facing up. We connect those two in there, and then we find the other Hanayama piece, and we need the same orientation for this one as well. Cyclone piece is going to be vertical with the engraving facing us. This one's much tighter, but we want the, the Hanayama engraving facing up as we as we connect these in here. And again, this one's the hardest one apart from the final move to, to get opposite each other. It's all about getting this Hanayama piece in the right way or in a way that's not in the way of, of what we're trying to do. There we go. Once we've got those opposite each other, we then push them through. And again, we have to get these in the right orientation so that we can then turn the corner with these two pieces. That looks very messy, but as long as you can get them crossed over, we'll then focus on reorientating ourselves with the, for the next move before we start. So now we've got all the connections done, apart from the last one, the two cyclone pieces crossing over each other. First of all, we need to get the right orientation. So again, we're going to have the cyclone engraving on the gold piece facing us with the gold piece on the left. And first of all, for the actual crossover, the gold piece should be below the, the silver piece. However, at the minute, we've got the handy armor pieces the wrong way around. So the one that's on the left, we want the gap facing up. So we're going to turn that one around. 
Let me get these two gaps out of the way first. So the one on the left is going to be facing up. The one on the right, we're going to rotate to face down. Again, this looks extremely messy and because these are hard to move around to each other and keep the orientation. But we want this position in here. Hanayama gap fit on the or Hanayama piece on the left gap facing up. Hanayama piece on the right gap facing down. Gold piece below the silver piece. Cyclone engraving facing us. Now, it's a lot to think about and a lot to get in the right position, but it is essential for this next move. And we're going to reverse the second move that we did to take it apart. So this gap here is going to fit into the groove on the opposite Hanayama piece. And then we'll have the same thing on the opposite side. This gap fits in that gap there. And this is probably the hardest position to get right on the, on the reassembly. But we now need to get to a position where these two cyclone pieces can cross over each other. It's much harder to do than it is to when we were taking it apart. And again, if you get it perfectly right, you won't need any force whatsoever. I needed a slight bit of force because it wasn't exactly right, but, but you should never force it too much. It shouldn't need anything like snapping or anything like that. Once we've got this position here, before we do the final move, we just need to swap the two Hanayama pieces over. So we're going to rotate the, the one that's on the left so that the gap is then going to be at the bottom when we don't get it caught. And we're going to do the opposite on the right hand side. So the one that's on the bottom, we're going to rotate the, so that the gap is now facing up. So the piece on the left, the, Hane, the Hanayama piece on the left, the gap is facing down. The Hanayama piece on the right, the gap is facing up. And now all we need to do is push the two cyclone pieces together. And again, this is easier to do to get back in position than when we were uh, trying to disassemble it at the start. But now we just need to feed this cyclone gap through there. And then to, just to finish it off, we'll take the cyclone gap on the gold piece out of the middle. And that is how we reassemble the cyclone puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama Cyclone Puzzle. This one's very tough, even knowing the solution and seeing it, it's still very difficult to do, especially on the, on the disassembly, that first move of getting those Cyclone pieces so that they are facing opposite each other, that's the hardest move for disassembling it and it will take some patience and some practice to get to get used to that move to well to be able to do it in the first place and hopefully this has helped you solve the Hanayama cyclone puzzle for yourself if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the cyclone then then check out our website at puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world and until next time i will see you later Thank you.